My dear friends and colleagues in ministry, we are happy to present the World Ministerial Association year-end report for October 2021. In the Ministerial Association, we have a compass for surveillance of what we do. We are responsible for pastors, shepherdess, and PKs. When we talk of pastors, we pick them as students and then through their years of internship, their years as licensed ministers, credential ministers, until they retire. We also take the shepherdess in various forms, wives of licensed ministers, wife of ordained ministers, wives of retired ministers. And the same way with our kids, we have toddlers, we have primary and secondary school children, we have university students, and we have our adult children who are professionals. Then we also take care of the training and the resourcing of local church elders, deacons, and deaconesses. And thirdly, we reach out to ministers of other denominations. We assist pastors to be professional worship leaders, practitioners, and trainers. We begin on the university campuses. For this year, we have provided financial and material support for student internship programs in all of WAD theology departments. We have also facilitated the processing and the issuance of licenses and credentials to all uh, faculty. Also, certificates for endorsement and re-endorsement have reached all theology faculty in our universities through the WAD BMTE and the GCIBMTE. With regard to our Bible Research Committee meetings, this year our last meeting took place from the 29th through the 30th of September 2021 via Zoom. And then we are planning for next year. We are thinking of 8th to the 10th of March 2022 in Monrovia, if COVID should allow. Otherwise, the meetings will be by, by Zoom 28th through the 29th of September. We have also distributed the Prosperity Gospel book that was written by the word BRC. In terms of support for ministerial secretaries, there was a GC Ministerial Association Advisory for all union and conference and mission ministerial secretaries and shepherdess coordinators from the 10th through the 12th of August, 2021. The GC Ministerial Secretary, Pastor Jerry Page, and all his associates for the various segments of the association presented materials and information relevant to their areas of expertise. Pastors Anthony Kent, Robert Costa, Jeffrey Brown, Pavel Goya, and Sister Janet Page were facilitators. There was a one-day refresher and updating program for all division ministerial secretaries and shepherdess coordinators on the 6th of October, 2021. Reports on best practices and challenges from various divisions were exchanged and shared for relevant adaptation and use in our various territories. The next GC Ministerial Association Advisory is scheduled for the 22nd through the 23rd of August, 2022. Now, support for regular pastors. All pastors within the division were invited to participate in two major ministerial, theological, and mission-oriented events. First, there was the World Day of Fasting and Prayer for Mission and AMR Awareness on the 28th of August, 2021, organized by WAD AMR office in collaboration with the GC. Secondly, there was the fourth 
Adventist University of Africa Theological Seminary Conference under the theme, Discipleship, Biblical, Historical, and Missiological Perspective. And it took place from the 22nd through the 25th of September, 2021. It was co-sponsored with other division ministerial associations in Africa. We have updated and renewed subscriptions to the ministry magazine. We have made available fully researchable articles, archives from 1928 to the present 2022. Freely, one can listen to all articles on the ministry magazine website. We have unlimited online resources available for all pastors. We have shared with pastors recent information on the various awards won by Ministry Magazine team, new and improved features of our highly esteemed magazine, and how pastors in our division can contribute articles in the ministry. We have also given training on how to reach ministers of other denominations through Ministry Magazine and Ministry in Motion. We have supported internship programs in five unions with training and funds this year. Here in the division headquarters, we have been strong advocates in policy amendments to bring respite to our illustrious, illustrious retirees. We have begun experimenting with the possibility of providing periodic health evaluations for our retirees at least once a year just as it is provided for active workers above 60 years. We are waiting for the COVID restrictions to go down a little bit, and the next wave of honoring retirees with their spouses with medallions in all the 10 unions shall commence. We are helping pastoral spouses to be efficient in team ministries. We have also updated the general subscription in all our unions. We have updated the operational guidelines of Shepherdess International. We are working on the implementation of empowerment activity programs, spiritual revival and fellowship activities, outreach and enrich activities through visitations and donations. We have had retreats and seminars for knowledge and skill acquisition. We are in the process of consolidating and organizing our team PKs, and in all the fields, it continues unabated. Networking and platform developments are on the increase among PK groups in the fields. We have had PKs congresses despite the COVID situation. For our elders, deacons, and deaconesses, training is ongoing. We are running online developed PowerPoint presentations for the elders' handbook, deacons and deaconesses' handbook, and we are also doing lay leadership training seminars online. We have promoted and updated a subscription for the Elders Digest magazine, and we are promoting and supporting online lay leadership training and seminars in all fields. We have lost some of our illustrious colleagues and darling spouses, Pastor P.K. Asari and Pastor W.G. Mensah of Northern Ghana Union Conference, Pastor Efion Okon Udo, the father of Eastern Nigeria Union Conference President, Pastor Udo Basi, and then Mrs. Thelma Norte, the wife of uh, former president, Pastor J.J. Norte, and then Pastor Brigido Jimenez and Pastor Gaudencio of the Central African Union Mission. May the good Lord preserve their mortal remains until the great getting up morning. We wish to thank God for his mercy and blessings and we wish to thank all and sundry who have kept supporting the cause of what ministerial association. To God be the glory, great things he has done. Thank you very much and God bless.